liquidity spigot is still wide open, Mohammed. Does, does that mean that this could easily happen again? Yeah, what you saw is, is, is what my friend and colleague Robert Kornisberger says, you get illiquidity in the midst of liquidity. The hedge funds that were short faced illiquidity in the midst of liquidity. And we came, I want to stress, we came very close to a market accident. And you've heard me say that among the four things that can disrupt this rally, two, we have to keep front and center. One is the possibility of, market, is a, of a market accident. And we came close. Ask yourself, why is Robinhood raising so much money after last week? And the second thing is, you haven't mentioned yet, this, the yield curve is as steep as it has been for the last three years. Keep an eye on that as well. Those two things are risk factors. They're, they're in the risk scenario, not in the baseline scenario, they're in the risk scenario, but they are risk factors to this wonderful rally we've, we, are, we are experiencing. But, but Mohammed, expand for us on that second point about the, the yield curve, because uh, clearly, yeah, as you said, it's uh, steep uh, and 110 is high relative to where the 10-year was six months ago. But it's not high in long-term perspectives. Uh, and on top of that, most importantly, the Fed continues to commit almost unreservedly to keeping the short end very low. So, so what levels and which part of the curve will matter for the broad equity markets? So the Fed has already told you that they're worried about this. Think about their verbal intervention after the two tens steepened a lot in the first full week of this year. They don't want to see interest rates go up too quickly. Why? Because it threatens the equity market. It does two things. One is you can no longer argue, Tina, there is no alternative to equities if bonds start paying something. But secondly, all these buy, very strong buy signals that come from models with discounted cash flow become weaker. So the Fed, if this continues, and it continues if people continue to, to price in high inflation, the Fed will be faced with two choices that it will not like. Either it has to do more implicit or explicit yield curve control, or, or alternatively, it has to risk a financial market volatility. And the Fed doesn't want to go there. So just keep an eye on what happens to those two stands as we go forward from here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.